Hi everyone. Let me help you to add DNS sensor in our PRDG for a Windows Server 2022. Okay. <coughs> See, uh, for that you should have DNS services running in your environment. Then you can perform this activity so before performing this what we will do first we will verify on our server okay so let me just log into the server and show you see when you access if you go to server manager then go to tools and dns okay in that uh, this version will be open and here you see that the first window will be there is like this only okay so you just click on this and expand it or double click on it and you may see here like this forwarded uh, lookup zones okay so these are zone which is created where while i have installed active directory and other domain which uh, can be created so there is no major difference between your uh, other domain or this local domain because of both are working as you are expected as per your expectation okay and you can register further whenever it is required to exert uh, access outside of your environment okay rest if you are uh, tracking it locally that there is no issue with that so what we we have to do is once your account once your domain is uh, sorry dns is ready here if you access it everything is there you can say this host this host is there i mean it will <coughs> it will uh, record all the all the records whichever the communication happen between this domain and between your network so simply let's go to our prtg server and configure this okay so here we go as a uh, previously video we have added our uh, windows server here so all the settings which we have done for our services remain same i mean community and all these this is remain same as you can see all the sensors are running and perfectly work working fine so let's add a sensor and here is it is not available so what we will do we just simply click here i mean search here for dns uh, let me check it okay so there is two thing one is dns uh, dns and that is uh, ssl certificate okay somewhere when you install you can see the parent device address can be dns name for example local device remote device dot com and ip address for example this is this so ssl ssl certificate which we use for https where we use HTT, uh, HTTPS services and uh, which provide us security for our website so as of now we don't have uh, such scenario so we just simply use DNS v2 to monitor our DNS so there you can see the sensor name and that is the tags and it required domain name so for example as of now mine is abhimanyu abhi.com and here you can see all the query types host address this is default hotel address and triple a 4a conical name allies name mail exchange mail exchange aap use kar sakte ho name authority pointer aap use kar sakte ho ns aap use kar sakte ho ptr aap use kar sakte ho so all these facility are available here text read code aap use kar sakte ho so both thing i mean all these option can be used and there is no issue with that okay rest which is simple create it and you can see your sensor is added and let's wait for few seconds or minutes you can say it's a 30 second timeline so let's click on this only and wait once we do have data on this so once it query send and it get a result so it will start showing us the 
data in our sensor. You can see it's perfectly uh, synced up and all this you can say response time is it is received and if we go to live data so you can see it's a live data is start working here and graph is there and all the things are there for you so hopefully you may like this video and uh, just click on the like button and share in your network thank you for watching this video have a good day bye bye